for today's video, we took you guys along to three different poke spots. All the places we went to today are locally owned. They're all fresh ahi. Either auction, bought, or fresh caught. None of these are previously frozen. Try off the hook, because it is pretty off the hook. So, Fresh Catch is my personal favorite place to get poke. I actually love tomorrow's. <laughs> Let's just say this is Amanda's favorite place. My chopsticks are ready. Aloha, fellow foodies. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Felix, that's Amanda. For today's video, we took you guys along to three different poke spots and you guys have been asking us to do a review on some of our favorite places and we took you guys along today. So make sure you stay tuned for the video. If you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as well because we're trying to get to 1,000 thumbs up for this video. Yo, we did it guys, the last video got us 500 so I know we can do 1,000. Let's break records together this year guys. And before we get into the video, we wanted to give a big mahalo, a big thank you to everyone who's been supporting us. We really appreciate all of your lovely comments and words of kindness. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it because we're starving. If they're closed, guys. You know what? I wouldn't laugh. I'm hungry. Okay guys, so we are gonna get eating and I am starving, starving. My chopsticks are ready. The first place that we went to is called Off The Hook Poke. It's located in the Manoa Valley area and guys, this looks awesome. And honestly, I've never actually been to this place. So first time trying it, Felix has and he actually likes this place. And a lot of my former co-workers all go here too. So I'm super excited to try it out. And they're known because they have the cold ginger poke, that's their signature here. And boy, does it smell awesome, I mean, Ooh, my mouth is salivating already. And I really like that they offer the choices of the rice 
So they offer brown rice, white rice, or sushi rice, and we got the sushi rice. And they also give you free toppings too, and we just got the whole shebang. So there's green onion, tobiko, furikake, there's some red cabbage. And if yeah. you guys haven't caught our previous video, the one where we went to Kuhio Grill, it's kind of the same thing, the cold ginger poke, cold ginger chicken. Yeah, yeah, man. Cold ginger topping is so amazing. You guys haven't seen that video? Amanda put it up there. Ooh, guys, this looks awesome. Mm. And mm. what is the other one you got? Oh, yeah, sorry. Two choices in this one. We got uh, spicy ahi. And this is called a poke bowl. Okay, starting from the beginning, poke is a traditional way of eating fresh fish. So mm. back in the day, the Hawaiians didn't have refrigeration, obviously. So they would just salt the fish in order to preserve it. And that kind of took its own course to modern day poke where it's literally fresh fish, but with like seasoning and stuff. A lot of sauces. A lot of sauces, yeah. yeah. And the most common one is like a Hawaiian style poke, which is pretty much kukui nut and seaweed. And I think they put some maybe like Hawaiian salt and stuff. But nowadays they have like spicy ahi and now this new cold ginger chicken one. And I'm super excited yeah. to try it out. This is kind of like a modernized take on poke. So the, the mini is your you choose your base and it's one choice poke. And the regular bowl is two choices and that's $11.99. With traditional poke, they didn't usually eat it with rice. But nowadays, they make things called poke bowls, which is the traditional Hawaiian poke on top of rice to make it a whole complete meal. Yeah. And that's what we got today here at Off The Hook. In Manoa. It's ample parking in the back. I want to try the ginger one first. Yeah, me too. Oh, that looks amazing. I mean, look at all that. It smells very gingery. Mmm. Mmm. Man. Wow. Mm. And I kind of like that they here they puree the ginger too, so it's not like stringy. You guys know what I mean? How ginger gets mm. stringy? Yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's really smooth. Mm. Not too overpowering. Really good flavor. How's the rice? Mm. The rice is good. Mmm. Really good rice. So this poke bowl is kind of more like a, I guess a fusion. It's not a typical poke bowl. Usually poke bowl is hot rice on the bottom and fresh poke on top. But this one, they let you customize it. Like he said, we got the sushi rice. It complements this sushi. I mean, what? It complements this poke really well. Mm. Yeah, their spicy tuna is pretty good too. Oh, mm. I like their spicy tuna. Mm. Mm. Oh, and guys, sorry, we keep saying ahi. But if you don't know what ahi is, it's pretty much tuna, like big fish tuna, right? <laughs> big eye tuna. Oh. <laughs> big eye tuna. <laughs> oh yeah, this rice. The rice is there. really good. The rice is really good. I must say. Mm. Makes you feel like almost like a take on like poke bowl slash donburi, you know? Mm. Like, like traditional Japanese, Japanese restaurant. restaurants, they have like raw sushi mm. over sushi rice, and they'll just call it donburi. It's like a spin on that. I like this. We have a lot to try here, guys, so I'll let Amanda hold on to that. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, spicy ahi. If you're not a big fan of that fishy flavor of raw fish, I think spicy ahi is like a gateway to poke. You know? Would you say? In the last 7 Eleven video, I talked about how Cali Roll is like a gateway to sushi. If you guys haven't seen that video? right there because the limu the very traditional hawaiian style poke it doesn't hide much from the fish like you really taste the fish and the simple ingredients in there so i suggest trying spicy ahi if you like that kind of creamy flavor creamy and a hint of spice some places do it more of a just chili oil and straight up spice you can just tell if it's creamy or not i suggest trying the creamy one first this one is very subdued in the spice department so if you're not a big fan of spice not too big fan of raw fish try spicy ahi poke at off the hook because it is pretty off the hook mm. i will say too their poke tastes very fresh yes yeah. that's another thing we forgot to mention in the beginning one common thing across all these poke places we went to today is that they're all fresh ahi they're either auction bought or fresh caught there's also cheaper places like foodland that has previously frozen fish but sometimes those have a really like fishy fishy taste if you guys are not into that Mm, I really could finish this, but we have a lot of food Damn, to go. This is what she saved me. <laughs> Guys, gotta remind me to stop talking too much. Man, okay, let's let's try fresh catch. So fresh catch is my personal favorite place to get poke. And if you're not a big fan of poke or you just wanna try and you know you wanna try something else, fresh catch is also known for their plate lunches. They have smoked meats, pateles, and my favorite, ahi katsu plate. 
man does this look good I'm very nostalgic I used to go here in my college days a lot oh and fresh catch is also in the Kaimuki area located on Wailai Avenue it's that big blue building that you see on the side of the road next to the 7-eleven that's fresh catch they also have many locations across Oahu too so you can definitely find one near you but yeah they have like four different locations main one being the one on Wailai and man is this good so this is a uh, bread battered panko battered panko yeah panko battered ahi that they deep fried the chef also makes his own sauces too which is amazing so it's kind of like a little swedish mayo type of sauce yeah yeah kind of like creamy sauce and they give you furikake to put it all over back then i remembered getting when i remembered getting this they used to drizz the sauce all over the katsu and then top it off of furikake themselves but i guess to retain its crispiness they make it separate now so we kind of just went ahead and mixed the furikake in the sauce so each dip you know kind of gets an even bite of flavor yeah ahi katsu guys do yourself a favor get the ahi katsu i'm gonna try the ahi katsu because it's, it's been a minute since i had this Oh my goodness, guys. This is a lot of katsu. Look mm. how huge this is. Man, this is so good. Definitely been missing this in my life. The mm. sauce definitely makes it. Mm -hmm. mm. Simple rice with food cocky on top. Get this plate and get some poke. Maybe get a beer or two. Have yourself pauhana at home. The mm -hmm. only thing this is missing is mac salad, guys. No. But I feel like the sauce is creamy enough. It makes up for it. I missed their poke too. So I got their one of their most iconic poke, which is a fireball ahi. It's spicy tuna, but their rendition on it. So, but yeah, I also like that the fish, the ahi inside, it's not too dry. I don't know if it's because the sauce makes it taste so good, but and we got this like maybe 20 minutes ago, guys, and it's still pretty crispy. It's really good. I really like how the sweetness of the furikake mixed with that mayo sauce mm. and the slight salty, oily taste of this fried ahi. It's really good. I'm telling you guys, this is addicting. Once you take a bite, you can't stop. I'm telling you, a man's gonna finish this plate too pretty soon. <laughs> and guys, I really like that the fish is not super fishy. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it can be really fishy. So a cool thing about Fresh Catch, they were featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives as well. The owner and chef, his hobby is fishing. So sometimes he would bring in his own fish. A man is enjoying that plate. Uh, I, I better hurry before she finishes it. And a cool thing too about Fresh Catch, his brother, co-owner, also runs a recycling business that's right next to the restaurant. So if you guys bring in a lot of cans to recycle they give you five percent off your order so you're supporting local saving the environment and enjoying fresh fish but yeah they're known for their fireball ahi so it's their take on spicy tuna i like theirs more or their theirs is my personal favorite because it's more on the spicy side Woo, Ooh, it that, smells spicy yeah they packed the kit oh god tabasco mm. no i like this no tabasco it's not Tabasco flavor, it but it does have like a kind of vinegary taste kick at the end. Smell it. It smells I like, like Tabasco. Their give this a try. If you like more spicy side, give this one a try. And also, as we mentioned earlier, the local classic, the ahi limu. So this is like probably the closest thing to how poke was. I mean, you're just gonna get cubed ahi, some limu, which is the seaweed. I see some kukui, and this one has some chilies in there too, some chilies. In some places, they don't use kukui, they actually use macadamia nut too, mm. as a substitution. Oh yeah. Very mm. simple, nothing hides the fresh fish flavor. Sometimes I just wanna get ahi limu and a nice bottle of beer. Uh, for me, that's pao hana. If I just pao hana at home by myself, that's what I get. It's very fresh tasting. You know the fish is fresh when the fish doesn't have like a strong fish flavor. It tastes very neutral and very... It's like clean know. tasting. Yeah, like ocean, but clean ocean. Like no. the when you, when the quality of the fish is kind of deteriorating, it starts tasting if it's sour, throw it away. <laughs> the only sour fish. I actually did get food poisoning from ahi before, and it was the worst food poisoning I've ever had in my whole entire life. So if you have some like old ahi, just throw it out. Like yeah. it's not worth getting sick. Go to one of these places. Oh yeah, and as far as prices go, the ahi katsu plate was eleven ninety nine. The poke is a little more on the expensive side, but. Like I said, it's fresh poke. The market price varies daily. So at Fresh Cash Day, it was $17.99 a pound, which is kind of like the, the price now on the higher end in Hawaii. But it's good though, trust me guys. I mean, just get a little bit if you don't want like a whole pound. You don't have to get a pound. Oh yeah, and when you do get poke, the way you order it is you order it by pound. So you do either quarter pound, a third of a pound, half pound, two thirds, three fourths, you know, like that, like cup sizes. American cup sizes. And a lot of the poke spots too, they have 
variety of poke, not just ahi too. Taco poke, which is octopus, they sometimes have salmon, uh, sometimes they have like opihi, which is like the little... It's like abalone, Hawaiian abalone. Snail. Barnacles, no, they're like a barnacle. You know those things that attach to like the side of rocks and stuff? Is that a barnacle? But yeah, so. opihi, salmon, taco, what else do they have? Let's just say oh, there's, no, it's, there's not only just ahi. Yeah, they have a variety of different types of poke at all these poke spots. So definitely check that out. If you if you don't like ahi, you can always get salmon or something. Oh, I did want to say, um, for me, Fresh Catch, I'm more into their plates because they also have like Hawaiian plates and smoked, meat. smoked meats and other kinds of like local style plate lunches. I don't really like their style of poke. It's not as like creamy. Also, <laughs> before we go on, shout out to one of our supporters that we ran into at Fresh Catch. That was awesome seeing you. Oh, it was nice meeting you. And thank you so much for your support and just coming out there and saying hi. We really really love meeting you guys and that was super cool that was my first experience seeing one of our subscribers and that was just so freaking cool <laughs> outside of the internet <laughs> yeah well yeah don't be shy guys just say hi unfortunately we didn't catch your name but thank you so much for supporting us we really appreciate it and thanks for saying hi Yep. That thanks was fun. For, thanks for your support. So the next place that we went to called Tamura's Market. It's located in the Kaimuki area, also on Wildlife Avenue. It's about maybe four or five blocks away from the Fresh Catch. And this place is a very low-key poke spot. If you're not from Hawaii, you probably don't know that they have really great poke. But yeah, a lot of like, what is that called? Like touristy publications and a lot of like people who do more of like the touristy advertisement they don't really go or talk about tomorrow so we're introducing you to tomorrow's pro tip if you ever come to hawaii definitely check them out they were actually more of like a supermarket and then they kind of rebranded as like a winery supermarket so they have all kinds of stuff they're mostly known for either their poke or their alcohol they carry a lot of different alcohols from all over the world i personally go there for the poke and shout out to my parents thank you so much for getting us this tomorrow's gift card because i actually love tomorrow's <laughs> yeah let's uh let's just say this is amanda's favorite place obviously it's locally owned well all the places we went to today are locally owned so that was another thing i forgot to mention i say it's your one-stop shop for pauhana at home literally there's a great wine selection great alcohol like beer hards and poke fresh poke so what could go wrong Get your poke, get your alcohol, enjoy yourself on Fridays. So let's get into it. The first poke, which is my favorite, is the ahi sunrise. It's pretty much like a spicy ahi, but with like furikake and stuff inside. And the reason why I really like their poke is because it's very creamy. The poke is very fresh mm -hmm. and it just tastes good, guys, honestly. This is like the middle ground for like spicy tuna. Like it's not too spicy. It's not too creamy. It's kind of like oh, yeah. the do-it-all spicy tuna. So, man, you know what? I wish there was like a sheath, like a holster for my chopsticks. I can go shing. Definitely has that spice, that creaminess from the mayo. Ooh, it kicks you. But it's not Tabasco spice, guys. This is like chili spice. A little more spicy than off the hook. Just as creamy. Yeah. This is like middle ground yeah. for the two that we got today. I will say, though, I like the cuts of the other places better like poke are usually cubed you're not gonna win any beauty pageants with this one but the flavor is definitely there we also got fresh ahi with garlic it's basically just the ahi poke garlic chips some chili oil and raw onions this is the one if you're not planning on going on a date later get this pretty pungent it smells good though and tomorrow's market they do have regular poke bowls as well but because we got other plates with like rice and stuff we decided to just get quarter pounds of each their poke bowls are pretty reasonably priced too mm. and their auction price today was 13.99 so it was a little bit cheaper than fresh catch but definitely <coughs> but definitely fresh fish quality None of these are previously frozen. Oh yeah, this is good. I like the sim I like the more simplicity flavors mm. that brings out the fish. You know, not hides it. They have a, a wide variety of choices you can choose from. Like there's taco. There's even like Dungeness crab poke. There's pipi kaula, which is like smoked meat. Whew. My yeah. mouth. This one is really clean tasting. I like this. Actually, I think I like this one more than the the fresh catch. Ahi limu. Only because it's a little spicier. Fresh catch ahi limu is more traditional. Yeah, that garlic one, if you like garlic, you're definitely gonna like this one because definitely packs a punch with that garlic flavor. 
And speaking of garlic flavor, we got one of our favorites at Tomorrow's Garlic King Crab Poke. Man, you do yourself a favor, go to Tomorrow's, get a nice cold beer or wine, whichever you like. And this, this I feel like is the star here at Tomorrow's. And the price for this one was $23.99 a pound. So it's a little bit more expensive because it is king crab but it's honestly one of our favorites it's more on the creamy side so they mix like the mayonnaise with tobiko some green onions of course garlic roasted garlic in there and and you get that nice crunchy but soft from the lobster no mm. crab <laughs> i keep wanting to say lobster guys i don't know why you know what a man is craving lobster mm. so good and this ain't no imitation crab, guys. This is the real deal. You get the sweetness from the crab, the creaminess of the mayo, fresh onions, garlic. You, you gotta get this. This is so good. This big piece. Mm. Let me just mop this whole thing. Ooh, that garlic flavor. But yeah, even though it's like twenty three ninety nine a pound, you don't you don't gotta get a pound, guys. It, it might be a little too much if you get a pound. I suggest getting a quarter or a third pound of this, and you know, mixing it up with some ahi. I balance it out, you know? And if you want to cool down that heat from the spicy ahi, take back a break the, with this. Yep, oh. back to the crab. But yeah, if you're definitely visiting Hawaii, definitely, definitely try one of these poke places. Also, leave a comment down below. What is your favorite poke place if you're locally from here? Or what kind of poke do you want to try? We appreciate all the comments, guys. Let us know. And also, there's a lot of different poke shops in Hawaii many far more than just these three that we went to today so if you guys let us know your favorite poke spot that will definitely help us for a future poke video so let us know down below yeah there's definitely a lot out there on the island Ooh, spicy Of garlic <laughs> and guys thank you so much for coming along with us on today's food adventure it was fun it was a lot of amazing poke and we're so happy that we could introduce you to three different poke spots honestly some of our favorites so oh, yeah super glad to introduce you to those and all local businesses with fresh ahi definitely check them out guys if you have the time or if you're visiting and before we let you guys go we just want to extend our mahalos once again to our supporters and for all the donations we've been receiving it definitely helps the channel out. It definitely helps us out. And thank you guys so much again for coming along with us on today's Poke Tour. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. We're trying to get to 1,000 likes on this video. And if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> hit that subscribe button. You're already All here right. watching our video. So just hit the button. All right, hit it guys. Thanks Hope again. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye guys. Wow.